The IF function in Excel has an important role to play. It can be used in a very simple fashion. It can become quite complex. To me, it represents kind of a threshold function in the sense that it opens the door to new and more powerful uses of Excel. It's almost programming-like in nature. In this worksheet entitled Simple If, we've got a scenario set up where everybody in this list is going to get a bonus. Well, at least some of the people are going to get a bonus. And the essence of the if function in its simplest form is simply to provide multiple answers based upon a condition, a logical test. In English, as we're looking at the data here, we're saying the following. In this organization, if your job rating is four or five, those are the better job ratings, you're going to get a bonus. Otherwise, not. We'll talk about the amounts and how we might vary it, but let's just state that simple fact. If your job rating is four or five, you're going to get, let's say, $1,000, otherwise zero. Now, we can use the Insert Function button if we want. This function, however, plays out pretty easily and readily on the screen. Let's remind ourselves, too, that when we type equal I, we see all the functions that begin with the letter I. If, left parenthesis, notice the pop-up tips here. Logical test, what might that be? There are lots of choices here. In our particular example, we simply want to look at the job rating right here in E2. And you'll notice in column H, I've put out here for reference purposes, the symbol that might appear next. These are called relational operators. Equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and so on. If we would like to use any of these symbols here that has two symbols, they must be in the left to right order as we see them here. So one choice here could be, if this particular job rating is equal to four or five, we can put in the symbol greater than followed by equal to. You cannot reverse the order of those to get the same meaning. So this is certainly one approach right there. Other people would say, well, why don't we just say greater than three? In this case, it makes no difference. Either way will work. Now, this is one example of a logical test. We're comparing a cell with a value. At other times, you might be comparing two different cells. Or how about comparing the value of a cell with a formula? Or comparing a formula with another formula? In other words, there are quite a few choices here in terms of what you might be comparing within a logical test. You can also test for text as well. But in this example, that's our logical test. Now, as soon as I put in the comma, You'll notice that the bold print below will change into the next portion of the IF function. In its basic form, the IF function has two answers, one for when the logical test is true, one for when it's not true. In this example here, the value is 1,000. Now, even though we see the word value there, don't limit the options here to a single typed-in value. What we might have here as a result could be a formula or it could be a reference to another cell that has a value in it, or it could be a reference to a cell that has text in it. And if we want to put text here as an answer, we can do that as well too, as long as we embed it within double quotes. So maybe that's what we'd like to do for the answer for when it's false. Now again, as soon as I press comma, you see how the bold print shifts to this portion. Let's say the answer is uh, zero, we could put in zero. If we want to put in a text display that displays nothing, Instead of zero, double quote, double quote. That will display nothing. If we want to put in an entry that says no bonus, do it this way. Now, you'll notice also that I've made the column wider. The column ultimately will not need to be this wide, but in order for us to see the function as we're preparing it, that's why I made it plenty wide here. But that's not necessary. Do we really have to put in the right parenthesis here? If we have only a single set of parentheses, as many functions do, we don't have to type the final closing parenthesis, simply press enter. So in the first case, of course, based on our rules, this person gets no bonus. Every time you're trying functions of this type, so you get more familiar with them, you want to test them out on a few cells as well. So we'll drag it down here. So many, many times as I press F2, looking at just the first one here, the if function can be simple, it can be straightforward, and it gets the job done. Now again, we would eventually make the column narrower. This is one option, one approach to the if function.